Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ghost Gaming with me, Christopher, and this is Spirit of the North. Because apparently last week I didn't get enough of uh, cold and snow and ice, etc., etc. So I had to uh, had to subject myself to some more. And uh, Spirit of the North definitely carries a lot of that stuff, but it is uh, by no means the same kind of game whatsoever. I think that Spirit of the North could be seen as a walking simulator, possibly. Um, it definitely feels like that for from the little I've played. Uh, we are taking control of this here little fox down here who has a fox spirit friend and they go on merry merry adventures together basically. Uh, can't really say much more about it uh, than that so let's just get into a new game and uh, see what's going on. And here we are. We are in control. Chapter 1. And that is a that is a weird thing on the sky there. By the way, can we go back? No, we cannot go back. This is just the impassable wall right here. Well, we can't get up here. That that, that That's true. But I uh, can't really go any further than that. So, this is us. We're a fox. And of course, this little starting area, very closed off. Not really much we can do, but uh, go past these uh, way marker stones things. It's really all that we can do. We don't know much about what is going on and we don't exactly know why we're here. We don't know what this thing is. We need to sort out all of this, I suppose. I am a little bit uh, confused by the coloration of this uh, fox. Isn't this fox supposed to be slightly lighter since it's the winter. Our fox is generally brown in winter. I don't know. Well, he is a bit white, I suppose. I mean, I don't know don't know that much about uh, fox uh, <laughs> fox biology to say that I know anything about that. Anyway, we are getting a pretty damn clear path as to where we're supposed to go. So we are, of course, going towards that weird red thing in the sky. That can only be good, can't it? Uh, can't really speed up here as well, because we can see that the, uh, the snow is very, very deep. So running here, bad idea. But uh, I gotta say, from this little starting point, it's very pretty, this game. Even though it's uh, snow and ice and cold and windy and all of that, it still is pretty damn pretty. Uh, so there you go. So we are making our way towards uh, this place over here. And the uh, question is, what can we find? And uh, more importantly, I suppose, what are we looking for? Because uh, this fox has apparently uh, said to himself that yes, this thing is bad. I should check it out and solve whatever it is, but uh, I don't know if that is the case. <laughs> I guess that the story will will deliver us the answers to that. But we have found Superman's lair and we are gonna go inside Superman's lair and see if he's home. I suppose. Well, okay. Fine, it might not be, but uh, it definitely sort of look, looks like it, doesn't it? So, let's get in from the uh, s snowstorm at the very least. And it is a very funky looking ice cave. And it's very chill and relaxing, this game, which is nice. I do enjoy games like this sometimes, at least. Oh, hello. So we have a dude here. You are looking... 
not so much alive as you probably once were. And I would assume that can't go through here. Not at this point, by the way. Can I do stuff? Ah, yes, I can. I can make a bark. I can make a wagtail. Don't know if I'm gonna need a wagtail. Sir, would you like a wagtail? Would you like a wa wagtail? I'll wag my tail at you. There we go. All right, can't go through there. Uh, can only really see uh, this little area here. Coming into this. Ooh. Well, that's uh, that's nice of you, game. Light up the thing that I need. Very good. So little area here. That is a staff of some sort. No, no, don't don't bark at it. Pick it up. There we go. <laughs> there we go. So that's a shiny staff with a little bit of a rock or something in it. Cool. I would assume that we bring this back straight to the man. I say man. It could easily be something else. It could be... It might not even be human. But he's starting to light up a little bit now that I bring the staff over. So let's uh, plonk it down. See if that works. Oh, yes. He's very thankful to me, and he helps me out by actually opening up this place. So there we go, we can now make it through. And we have apparently rescued, I suppose, one character out of, what is that, 7 times 4, so 28 characters in total that we can apparently save. Nice, we are moving on. This is a very big place, by the way, completely frozen over at the top, which is weird. And yeah, keep following these little way signs. And can we now run? No, the game is boring me from running, <laughs> which is fine, I suppose. So we're getting into this little open area. Sure, let's just uh, keep walking down. Let's not walk in the snow for now. Let's be friendly to our fox. And ooh. Isn't that something we recognize over there? I think it is. Can we... Do we need to go down here before before we before we say hello to Spirit Fox? Is there anything down here that I need to look at? It doesn't really look like that, no. Let's just make it up. There's also some ornaments and things here. We can jump, by the way, yes. There we go. Jump on the things. Go through here. Hello, Spirit Fox. Well, you don't seem to be very active right now. Okay, can we... Is there any reason to go down here? Well, possibly, but uh, let's not think too much about that right now. Let's also check over here if there is... Uh, Anything here? Well, there's a uh, rock here. Na sapenya na babiti babiti baba. No, this is not the Lion King. It's a fox. Hello, we'll, we'll bark at you. There we go. Yay, we found a friend. So, are you just gonna say no? I don't want to be your friend. Well, that's that cheeky. I want to be your friend, and you just run away in a impossible for me to uh, follow pattern. Okay, I can't fly, Mr. Spirit Fox. That's not very helpful. All right, well, I do see that there is water below, so I suppose that we just jump. Oh, poor fox. Oh, he's fine. Good. Good, good, good. Don't know again. I don't know exactly know how much exploration one can assume that this game actually has. Like, is there a reason for me to go over here at all at this point? Can't say that I see anything over there. Oh yeah, that, that's that's a good boy. That's a good boy. Ooh, can we not? Oh, there we go, there we go. Right, we can go up here, but it doesn't really seem to be a point in going up here. So let's just uh, come down here. That would be the other side, I suppose. Now, where's Spirit Fox? Did Spirit Fox go away? I don't know. Can I run now? No, the game is still barring me from running. Beautiful. Thank you, game. Here we go. Oh. 
Well, I can't go through here. Do I need... Hey, did I miss a spirit fox? Is that what happened? Did I did I go too fast forward here? I probably did. Where is the spirit fox? Hey, where did he go? I jumped from over there, didn't I? Oh, there he is. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> I didn't bring spirit fox. That was... Uh, uh, that's my bad. Sorry. All right, fine. Wait over the water. Man, he's a bit lazy, isn't he? Yeah, shake off the water. We have to... Come on. Stop st stop sleeping. This is not the time. We have a big, big red thing in the sky. You need to help me out. Come on. Get up. There we go. He really doesn't want to be my friend, does he? Alright. Are you going to go up there then? Oh, for crying out loud. Alright, well. You're going to sleep? Not on this occasion, it seems. Well, fine. Let's just uh, shake off the water. There we go. Good job. Let's just cut through here. And okay, we need to ascend this thing, this rocky thing. Uh huh. Shouldn't be too difficult, right? Oh, 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 I was about to fall down just then. Uh huh. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Get up, get up, there you go. Hello, what are we looking at? Oh, bloody hell, that's... Hey, <laughs> I just went up here for your sake. Okay, well, fine. So now, will you possibly help me with that ice-covered thing? Yes, I do hear rumbling, and we can go through, perfect. Well, at least the spirit fox has been to some help. Which is nice. Oh. Slowing down a bit. Uh huh. Okay. Nothing. I can't see anything special here. Or did I slow down because I hit some water? Possibly. Right. You are moving. Well, again, I can't follow you. Can't follow you there. So I'll have to go around. Well, there only seems to be one way to go. So fair enough, I suppose. He just took the shortcut available to only spirit foxes. Where do I go now? Oh, here we are. Here you are. All right. Well, well, I'll follow you for now. As we are together. You aren't uh, just leaving me again, which is, I suppose, a positive thing. Where are we? Where are we going? Oh, here we go. Now the game allows me to sprint. Perfect. But this is one of those games where you never have the same speed as whoever you are escorting. Not something that you normally want to see. But there you are. We can at least run. Oh, do we have a slide by any chance? Yes, we do. And oh, he's adorable as he's sliding. I say he, but it might be a she or it might be none of the, uh, none of the above. But... Uh, for now, I'm just going to call it a he, because it's going to mean that my brain needs to think less. All right, let's uh, just move. There's Spirit Fox coming down from atop again and going up again. Are you going to help me with this? Are you going to help me with this? Do I do anything? I'm barking at it. Come on, hel help a brother out. What do you want from me exactly? There we go. Can I can I bark at you now? There we go. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Man, you are not you you're not the most helpful of spirit foxes, are you? You're really making me work for it. Alright, slide down another little slide. And yet another one. Go, 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 go. Whee! Uh-huh. Feels like, yeah, there are absolutely areas here, aren't there? I should possibly be able to go... Well, not here, because that's where the slide is, but if I can find a way up... Possibly I can find something else? Uh, right, you are just uh, moving forward, but yes, I do see something here. Let's, uh, let's explore a little bit. This might... Oh, hey, here we go. I found something, but where where do you go? 
Can I get to the other side, possibly? That might be a thing. So, okay, so don't just blindly follow Spirit Fox. Actually, look around a bit as well. There is some exploration then, I suppose. Don't exactly know what that will mean for the future, but for now, yes indeed. We found the thing. Oh, yeah, here we go. We found another guy. And you have a... You have a medallion. Can I have said medallion, possibly? Do I need said medallion? Well, I have activated another ghost. You are very welcome, sir. I don't know if I needed to do that. How do I pick this up? No, don't bark at it. Oh, there we go. It stopped lighting up. Okay, so that was the second guy. Uh-huh. So, uh, right. I'm going to be very sad if I miss one. <laughs> so, make sure that we always uh, look around everywhere before continuing. Do I need to bark at you, or are you just going to, for once, be a good boy and follow me? I think, uh, I think you might. So, let's just... Uh, all the way to the bottom. Ooh, long slide. Well, I'm happy I did the thing with the staff and the other dead fellow there, because this is probably a place I could not get back up from. No. Right. Okay. Good to know. Uh, some more of these. Presumably people left these, right? Where are... Where's, where's Spirit Fox, by the way? Have you joined me? Am I, like, so far up ahead now? I don't know. Let's uh, keep walking. Maybe he has uh, another shortcut, because apparently that's what he does. Uh, he's making shortcuts that I can't follow. But okay. No, no, no. No way. Don't slide too soon. No way. Don't slide too soon. Okay. Uh, no, I don't see anything else immediately. It's just tiny slides here. Cool. Whee. Yup. There we go. That's lovely. And jump. There we go. Spirit Fox uh, has left me for now, but that's hopefully fine. Alright, well, further down we go. Oh, and the music stopped. That's a bad... No, okay, more music, but new music. Uh-huh. Ooh, are we out? We are out. Presumably... Oh, wow, there's... It's a long way to go to get to wherever th that red thing comes from, yes. Alright, well, let's make our way down. And can... Ooh, there are branching paths here. Uh-huh. How do I... How do I choose? <laughs> uh, seems to be the waystones down here, so let's actually not follow waystones. Let's follow uh, the alternate path here. I suppose that these are waystones as well, so fair enough. Can we get up? By the Ooh, before we go down, go up. That might be a good thing. If I can. Yes. Yes. Well, it doesn't actually... Oh, we can go here, but uh, no. Well, actually, you know what? Yes. Good opportunity to have a bit of a look. So it feels like both of those... Paths actually lead to the same place. We come down there, join up to there, or we come down there and we join up to there. Okay, fine. So, nothing for me to do there. But I see right on the ledge there in the middle, there, that's another waystone. Can I get up there? And can I go to the side here? And let's have a bit of a poke here first, because I see... Possibly something here. This is just gonna be. Yeah, that is a that is an invincible wall. Invisible, not an in, not, not an invincible wall, an invisible wall. But yeah, can we get up to that ledge? How well do you traverse things, Mr. Fox? Not terrible. But I was thinking if we can go here, can we sort of? I don't think. I can jump over there, but uh, I don't think I need to. If I simply follow here, follow the side here, yeah, 
Is this uh, is this allowed by the game? Yeah, I'm probably. Hey! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That was not my intention. Uh, but yeah, we shouldn't be able to go up here. Did I just do that a little bit stupid? Possibly. Yes, no, okay, no, the game does not allow me to go there. Okay, so we can't get up there from here, so I suppose we just keep on going then. Alright. And those are placed very high by someone. Good job. Okay, new area. I definitely feel like I should have been able to go up there, but okay, fine. There's spirit fox as well, I see you. I see a ledge over there, possibly something. Yeah, I still think that might, maybe we can go back on ourselves at some point. I don't know. I don't know if you're supposed to be able to go to the way markers uh, when they are on top of things. don't even know if that is the case. I can't see directly anything that we can look for. Possibly. Yeah, you are going over here. Okay, fine. Let's see what you have found now. That's another guy. Alright. I see him. Ooh. A little bit of a tower thing here. Cool. Okay, so his uh, thing was very easy to find. Uh, is there a... Is there any point in trying to sort of get up here? Oh, oh, oh. Can't get up here. Oh, nice. But okay, no, no, we cannot get up higher. <laughs> Never mind then. Pick up the staff. I really hope that you are the third, the third guy, and not the fourth or fifth or sixth or whatever. Okay, so if I miss someone, I'll be a little bit annoyed. Okay. So you are happy about me helping. You also have a medallion. Maybe the first uh, character also had a medallion. I don't know. Right, we have saved you. So was that the third? Oh, we have unlocked something. Is that another fox? Possibly, if you go P. Don't know. Uh, I think that was the third, at least. All right, uh, Mr. Spirit Fox, are we cool to go? Do we need to? Do we need to talk to you? Get up here! Oh, come on, get up here! Oh, no, no, he, he, just, he just went. Alright, good. I haven't missed uh, a character, so that's at least something. Let's glide on this, because why not, eh? Just doing some freestyling. Uh, and what else? We can go... Can we go up here? Is that allowed? Well, it's difficult, because there's a lot of slidey slopes here. Uh... Doesn't look like we need anything up here, no. So follow Spirit Fox. Spirit Fox is with us. In spirit, as in body. Corporeal body, but still in body. And we're getting into... Oh, we actually already were inside a new cave then. Okay, fair enough. That's cool. Oh, did I just pause something? Oh, 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 apparently we are missing something. You open up something in here. Thank you for that. Ooh. Okay. But I still want to see if there's anything here. Uh, no. Nothing. I might be uh, overthinking this game a little bit too much. Alright. I too can bark. Come on. Yes. Bark, bark, bark. Okay, fine, you don't want to do anything else. Feels like he said, you're on your own now, bucko. Uh, do the thing. I have complete faith in you. For you are the last of the of the, of the the foxes. Or something. I don't know. Oh, oh, no, no, no. He's actually following still. And this seems to be slidey all the way down. Ooh, no. Almost sinister music. I don't know. I don't like that. Oh, big fall. Ow. Okay, well. That is... Ooh, I don't like the look of that. Let's go this way instead. Let's just see if... Uh, let's just see if there's anything here. Before we go to the weird egg-looking thing with tentacles. That's never a 
good thing. I mean, it, it, there is a waterfall here, so presumably I can go behind it. Well, I can, but there's really nothing here. Okay, fine. Let's go to the weird-looking thing in the distance. That's uh, that's gonna go well, is it? Spirit Fox, you got any tips and pointers about this thing? Or is this where, where the red things uh, emanates from? Could be a season. Okay, it's not an egg, obviously. It's more like a rune stone thing. And I suppose it's not tentacles. It's probably just vegetation. But still, looked almost tentacly. Right, we have some, yeah, these cool uh, hexagonal uh, rock formations things. Oh, oh, crap. Something's happening. That is definitely where the red stuff comes from. Oh. Have I been infected with something? I think I have, yes. Okay. Oh, oh, I don't like this. Oh, no. Oh. I am fine again, and big ol' yawn of you are in chapter 2. So the spirit fox does have some powers over that thing that we just saw, which I definitely assume is the thing that causes all the red stuff, and presumably they're gonna be- and I'm- no, my paw has been broken. Or something, I'm limping. Oh, that is actually quite sad. Come on spirit fox, can't you help me? Okay. I shall be limping for a while then. It's not comfortable, but I will. Alright. Yeah, we took a bit of a nasty fall there after Spirit Fox did the thing. I'm not blaming you, but it did hurt. As evidently shown by me not having a really good time right now. I really hope it's not broken. Maybe it's just a little bruise or something. We shall see. Okay. Well, it seems to be coming to almost a dead end. No, it does continue into the dark. At least the uh, spirit fox is here with me. That's very nice. Oh, 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 that's not good with my broken po Oh, hello. Fox statue. People like foxes here. Huh. Is that a uh, Skyrim wall? Am I gonna get a power now? Read the fox language and can I start flying in the air? Because that would be useful now that I can't really walk that well. Yeah. Oh! Beautiful. Uh huh. Set a little that up. Do I do anything with the statue? Doesn't look like I do. Let's limp down into the water in front of it. No. Alright. Well, if I can get the ability to fly... That would be kind of useful. Yes. Okay, we have another thing over here. Another Skyrim wall. I'm gonna call them now. Well, I suppose it's a fox wall, after all. So, the first one, a fox flying in the sky. And then we have a settlement with a lot of happy people. We have people obeying the fox. I'm getting to like this, yes. Are the, are the people my subjects? Possibly. Okay, well, we'll keep going. Into this almost tomb like thing, possibly. Uh -huh. 
It's all very melodramatic as well, isn't it? Which is fine, I suppose. Alright, there's some... Uh, things here. Very weird natural formations in the rock as well. So presumably, yeah, we're getting into some skeletons and stuff. So people live here. That became red. So now that the fox is gone, people are not having a good time. People lost their foxes. Oh, we have another... Yeah, we have another guy here. So now we need a staff for you. We need a staff for you. Okay. So that is, oh, okay, volcano erupting. Yeah, that, that'll put a dent in your pleasant day, wouldn't it? A lot of people dead. Fair enough. Could possibly explain some of the rock formations also. Molten lava, etc. Okay. So am I gonna find the staff? Yes, I am. I see the staff right over there. Yes, this definitely feels lava-ish. Okay. So I suppose that what we do now is we take the staff. Again, the game is being very nice to me lighting it up. Very nice. No, 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 don't bark at it. Pick it up. Take it back. I'm, I mean, you're walking ahead on ahead. I assume that I'm going to need to take this back, right? I assume that this is what we're doing. So, let me just limp back. I do enjoy this, by the way. I mean, I've always had a... ...penchant, I think is the correct word for games that don't actually have dialogue or, th or stuff like that. Games that tell a story without actually using words. And this does it rather well, I have to say. Walking games, uh, generally to my mind, are the most interesting ones, generally, but this is, this is pleasant. So hello, I brought you your staff. Might you possibly heal me? It would be nice if you healed me. Because I'm, I'm hurting a little bit, and I am a fox, and you do like foxes. Any... any help? Yeah, I'm not having a good time, am I? Well, no, it was only the fourth, fourth guy. Well, I haven't missed any, so that's uh, still a plus. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind being healed at this point. For all the power that the uh, spirit fox uh, seemingly has, he didn't really care so much to try and heal me. Oh well, he did save me from being possibly infested with something really really bad so I guess uh, I guess I can't fault him too much but uh, it would be nice to uh, not be in pain it would be very nice okay well he is waiting for me good thank you for that and also not uh, sprinting on ahead or flying away he's a bit of a friend at this point in, in the game at the very least I mean, I do have great intentions, I think, as well. Ooh, another, uh, another wall here. More bad things. Okay, yeah, that would presumably be the volcano with ashes and people in misery and pain and dying and suffering and all of that. And here is a fox, uh, fox low thing as well. Okay, yeah, 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 I'm coming. Don't you guys worry. I'm coming. Okay, oh, here we go. Another guy lying a little bit more peacefully in this occasion. A bit more peacefully here. Right, oh, some purple light. What is that, possibly? Okay, well, I'm probably gonna find a staff there. I think I see it from here, even. So that's, uh, that's where. Why is it purple ish? What makes it look... Oh, actually, that might... Well, I think it is the staff down there. Okay. Well, it is all very sad at this point. <laughs> yes. Not only are we going super slow, but we are learning about the... Uh, pretty horrible uh, 
fate of all of the people here. They lost their foxness and they had a volcano eruption. Did it, the fox left before the volcano though? Is that by any means uh, connected to each other? Am I the volcano fox? Am I the, am I the literal fire fox? Is that what we're learning? I don't know. Okay, yeah, the uh, light from above is creating this. Ooh, a bunch of tablets looking things. What are you gonna show me here? So I assume you're gonna show me something. Oh no. Oh bloody hell. Well, all right, I am shiny. So the other fox bestowed upon me his, I guess his foxness. Can I, can I fly? No, I cannot fly. So that, that's not a thing that happened. Where am I? Am I in the same place? I seem to be. Can I now do the things that the fox, this fox spirit did? This is, yeah, this is the way back, right? Because I'm still, haven't found a staff. I am fine again, which is nice. But, uh, dude, lying here, what can I do with you? Can you do something? Fox spirit, who's not really a fox spirit anymore. You're just a light. Hmm. Can I, can I bark at this? Not like I was just makes a sound. That's cute. Not a fox sounding sound, but still. All right. Well, now that we have the speed again, we need to find a staff for you. Is what I'm thinking. And is this a dead end? I don't think it is, but we'll see. I think I can make it. Yeah, I can make it up here. Uh, just make sure that there aren't any staves here. Uh, no, I don't think there is. Okay, fine. I guess we have to go up in the world, so to speak, in order to find one. Okay. So again, am I now in charge of the barking of things? Yes. Wag your tail, apparently, does the thing. There we go. I have activated a stone. Does this look like, uh, does this look like bloody... No, what? I was about to say platforming, but no, I'm, I'm, do I, oh, did I only have power for that one then? But the guy... No staff. Hmm. Alright. Well, fine, I think we have to step through this, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, chapter three, and I think that you know what? Let's uh, let's end this video here. I think we'll be. I think I've shown enough of this game as it is. For those of you who are interested in the, what this game has going for it or wants to tell in the future, I think that I want to leave that for you guys. I kind of like this. As I said, I do enjoy games, movies, etc., etc., where 
words aren't really necessary in order to tell the story. And I gotta say, this is a game that does it extremely well. Like, really, really well. I mean, fair enough, because of course we're playing as a fox. And foxes can't really talk, like, at all. But, uh, I mean, it could have, uh, I suppose, some sort of a... Uh, uh, communication with the spirit fox but it didn't it only uh, told the story or has to, has told the story by the means of like images and movements and etc etc so yeah this is very very cool and very 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 relaxing and chill and i like that i would suspect that it's gonna keep being that in the future can i by the way swim down here no but i can't bark in the water apparently um I would indeed suppose or rather expect the game to keep doing this uh, for the future, but uh, I'm kind of interested in seeing what's going to happen. Absolutely. Whenever I have the time and the place, I will most likely get back to this and just uh, see what story the game has for us and what's actually going on and what the conclusion, if any, there will be. So yeah, if you like uh, walking simulators, because I definitely think that this, uh, this counts as one of those, I think you should check this out. It's a very cool game. It's very nicely made. It looks great for for what it does. So yeah, a very nice experience is to be had if you check this game out. For now though, this has been Ghostsmith Gaming with me, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.